Uh, welcome to my lightning talk, and I'm going to be very quick, like my daughter with chocolate. When she's chocolate, it's already done. So I try also breeze through, and then everybody can go to lunch. So empowering giants, uh, guide your enterprise, very important. And who am I that I can speak about enterprises? Yes, my name is Engindiri, uh, work currently at Pulumi. But before I was in big enterprises, I'm really talking German enterprises, insurance company, retail and all the stuff. So it can't get slower and it can't get any enterpriseier than there. Um, if I'm not working with infrastructures, code stuff and cloud, I'm thinking about the CNCF landscape once a day, sometimes more often. And this leads directly to my question, because seeing the CNCF landscape, what do you think is the problem of traditional enterprises when it comes to the CNCF or for the landscape and cloud world? Not going to waste any seconds. I show you uh, some of the problems I identified here. So first of all, uh, complexity and fragmentation in the DevOps tools. I just give you one word, Jenkins, OK? So Jenkins in the cloud, is it possible? Yes, no. Oleg did a talk yesterday at Rejects where he said, yes, it's possible. But still, we come with a tool set, with a landscape, existing landscape, which may not fit any model requirements you have. Second problem in an enterprise, evolving standards. Things go so quick. You look right, you come back, and there's a new tool, a new project going on, promising, and coming back again, tool overload, what to use. And we're talking here enterprises of a speed, which is not like the unicorn companies who say, hey, I can quickly change the stack I have with some energy on, uh, put on it here in an enterprise environment. Um, it, it's not possible to be that quick. And then we come to blurring definitions and new paradigms. I really had problems in my old place to explain people GitOps. So we got OpenShift, we got several clusters, and then we had to use uh, GitOps. So go now to your classical uh, operations team or your developers who may upload their jar via and win SCP and now talk about something like GitOps. Wow, that was a fight. So yeah, that's me, head aged of dev. Um, so what could be a possibility? And now we come to a statement here. And I, I shot this one also down. As I promised, I'm going to breeze through. Um, it's literally cheating, you know? So enterprises love to see what others do. And they wait. And they're like, let the others do it and see and uh, maybe learn from their experience. So they meet sometimes on conference like here and say, hey, what you do? And they're like, yeah, we tried X, Y, Z. It didn't work out because of, and that's nice. So cheating is the thing. So there is help. There's help. And I wish that this is some project which would be uh, available many, 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 many years before. It would have saved me uh, the gray hair and the loss I have currently. So Kuno, that's the project, or that's the framework. And I'm going to explain a little bit about this. So what is the Kuno framework? So it helps you. Uh, strategic alignment and cloud management. So it helps you to identify the OSS projects and focus on this one and say, OK, this is something people selected, and I can now completely align myself onto it. Um, risk mitigation through collaboration, yes. We can now work together, and we can uh, sit together and have different members inside the movement and can s share our operational knowledge, our operational experience. So this is something very, very useful here and gives you the framework and uh, the way to do this. And of course, everything is modular and community driven. So I can take out the parts which maybe fits, and I get the feedback of the community. So very, very cool. Three points, of course, there's always more, but this is three points I really love about. And of course, you, you cannot have uh, no principles. So here also, Kuno has also some principles uh, which are very, very important. Um, first of all, open source first. That's, that's really nice. So we have here open source. We're not going anymore into any proprietary technology. We're really here in the, in the open source world. Uh, it's community driven. So you have a governing body, you have a community around this which uh, feedbacks and vice versa. So that's one of the things. Um, Kuno is here 
about tools and not practices. It gives you the freedom to adapt the tools they suggest inside your, your enterprise because you know the best how your company is working. So it says to you, hey, this is the tool, but doesn't say to you, you have to change also this culture like on the, on the roller coaster. You have to be that high to use this. No, no, no. This is the tool. Look how you can embed this in your, custom, uh, in your company because you know the best the culture. Uh, it's powered by Kubernetes, and, uh, but not limited to it, so you can use any other orchestration tool. Of course, uh, Kubernetes is also here. Um, set it, but again, you can change it, and you can use anything else. It's standardized for the infrastructure part, which is very important for an enterprise environment, but gives you the customizability to adapt this also for your needs, so for the application developers, for example. And last not but least, uh, it's built to be shared. So whatever it's uh, created there, you, you, you make it public and people can use this also and come back again to the learning effect. So yay, that's great. But, 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 uh, there is no light without darkness. So that, um, but, well, darkness is maybe the wrong word. Um, there are some things with Kuno is not. So Kuno is not only a unified control plane. It delivers you the building blocks, but it's not, a it's not only a unified control plane. And Kuno is not only a CI CD tool. It helps you to integrate and to deliver your application, but it's not only a CI CD tool. Um, yes, of course, uh, it's not only about uh, giving you uh, new technologies and shiny toys of it, but it gives you a way to interact with them and to integrate them. And last but not least, um, you are still responsible for the operation of the tool chain. So it doesn't give you uh, the way to say, OK, uh, we take this over. No, you have still to spend the money. You need to allocate the funds inside your company. Um, that's nice. OK, then again, lightning talk. I want to be very uh, quick, so uh, no time for it. Um, there is a reference architecture. Go to the site. It explains you some examples on AWS. Very important. Um, we're working currently also to get uh, Pulumi into this. And key takeaways, uh, try Kunu. Uh, it helps you to build a robust IDP. And uh, it captures you some of the key technologies and uh, helps you to share and understand complex uh, technologies and key technologies. Here's the link to the site. Very interesting. Session feedback, if you want to give anything, meet me at the booth, and I'm gone. Thank you.